Hey guys, it's Chris Kringle here, and I'm back with some more of The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Last time, we uh, did a few things. Uh, there was the uh, fishing minigame that went oh so smoothly. And of course, we did some other things, like get some things around Lake Hylia. And of course, we finished the water temple not too long ago. So now, uh, for this episode, I think we'll be taking a visit over to Kakariko Village, see what's crackalacking, crackalacking over there, you know, since we've pretty much, uh, gone to every area that we could, at least for right now. So, and it's been a while since we've gone there, so, I think we'll be going there now. One thing I'm definitely trying to remember is always, like, uh, actually, uh, I'll tell you guys later, like, it's kind of a long story. Oh, man. It looks like things are not looking good too good here. Get back, Link. Well, damn. Well, it looks like we both lost royally. Looks like you're coming around. Link, a terrible thing has happened. The evil shadow spirit has been released. Impa, the leader of Kakariko Village, had sealed the evil sh shadow spirit in the bottom of the well. But the force of the evil spirit got so strong, the sealed uh, of the well broke and it escaped into the world. I believe Impa has gone to the Shadow Temple to seal it again, but she will be in danger without any help. Link, Impa is one of the six sages. Destroy the evil Shadow Spirit and save Impa. There is an entrance to the Shadow Temple beneath the graveyard behind this village. The only thing I can do for you is teach you the melody that will lead you to the Shadow Temple. This is the melody that will draw you into the infinite darkness that absorbs even time. Listen to this, the Nocturne of Shadow. You have learnt the Nocturne of Shadow. Let me take care of the village. I'm counting on you, Link. Well, that was quite a bit. Uh, yeah, like, I bet some of you watching might have forgotten about Impa, like, that weird lady who was way at the beginning. But yeah, she's she's still around. She was the one who actually 
uh, like, talk, talk thus the Zelda lullaby, so, that was way back in the beginning of the game, so now she's in trouble, and apparently some evil demon monster from the Shadow Temple, uh, in the well, and looks like we need to do something about that. We can't access the well yet because we don't have the necessary stuff to be able to do that. What we are going to do right now is do something about this pesky rain. Jeez, my my fancy tunic is getting all wet. Well, we're going to go inside the windmill. And we're actually, I like how it says question mark because it's not quite sure what this area is, really. But we're actually going to talk to this guy. Who's furiously doing something. Kind of looks like a dick in the box. <laughs> Grrr! I'll never forget what happened on that day seven years ago. Grrr! It's all that Ocarina kid's fault. Next time he comes around here, I'm gonna mess him up. Yeah, you show him. Yeah, you show him that kid with the Ocarina and, uh, oh. I hope you're not upset anymore. What? You've got an Ocarina? What the heck? That reminds me of that time seven years ago. Back then, I'm a mean kid came here and played a strange song. It messed up this windmill. I'll never forget this song. We've learnt the Son of Storms. Oh, and now the windmill is spinning. Whoa, they're faster. Look at this. And they see me spinning around, around, and, and okay, it's getting kind of dizzy here, and I'm by. All right, well, that was kind of interesting because apparently a lot of the evidence points that it was us who did it, but we never did such thing as a child yet. More on that later. But anyway, yeah, we learned the Song of Storms, like two songs back to back. That's pretty cool. Alright, so we're actually going to go into the graveyard now. But not to actually go into the Shadow Temple yet. We're actually going to get a few little side things out of the way first. Because there's actually, like, a few things that we need before we can tackle the Shadow Temple. Uh, this one isn't needed, but I'm going to get it anyway. We're actually going to go back uh, into this grave where uh, Dompe was, if you guys remember that. And now that we have, let's see, let's actually switch to it. Now that we have the long shot, things might go a bit different with this race. So let's, let's talk to him. Hey, 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 young man, are you fast on your feet? I may not look like it, but I'm confident in my speed. Let's have a race. Follow me if you dare. Alright, so this is mostly the same as the uh, last race. At least I remember. I often remember... From this race, I usually only remember the last part, because that's usually the part you actually... Uh, it's the part that really counts. So... Yeah, I, from what I remember, I think it's mostly the same, but... Uh... Yeah, they might have changed a few things. Might have made it longer, actually, and yeah, I don't want to go that way. For some reason... Okay, there we go. Felt like my controller was kind of doing something weird for a sec. Luckily, it wasn't. Okay, that was kind of dickish right there. Putting that fire right there. Alright, oh jeez. Alright, let's see. I think we're coming up to it pretty soon, so... Let's see. Oh, uh, no. I think I might mess this up, guys. Yep, I did. Wow. All because I pulled it out a little bit too early, so it kind of messed up my aiming. Plus, you might have realized now, the analogs... When it transferred the N64 control scheme to this... The even though the analog stick on the N64 controller was not great, the game was made for it, so aiming on the N64 is a little bit easier 
than on the Pro Controller Wii U thing because the sensitivity is way off. So oftentimes, uh, you know, it's kind of just it's really hard understand, hard to understand, but it's just issues. So we'll have to try that again. It's not yeah. So it's pretty much like for some reason I think I might be thinking of a different uh, race. I think I was actually thinking of the one in Majora's Mask. Like, I remember there's, like, something you had to do there, and it was, like, really, like, way longer and, like, kind of more annoying. Uh, let's see. And I remember this part, so I want to go this way. I was kind of behind on that part anyway, so I might have not have even made it if I did hookshot there properly. Okay, seriously? Like I hate when he does it around the corner like that, and I'm I'm not sure if it would be faster to actually. Oh come on, that was cheap. Yeah, I'm really behind here. All right, let's see. Oh come on, see this is what I mean. I can't like find my aiming, and I'm pretty sure I lost because yeah. <laughs> I didn't make it through, wow. All right, I'll cut back to when I eventually do this because I'm actually really bad at doing the hookshot part. That's the part I remember the most in this race. So I'll be back when I actually do this. Two hours later. No! Yes! Oh my god, I can finally be done. Oh, that took so long. Like, this game, I swear it's like out to get me. Like, with the fishing mini game and now this. Oh my god. I literally, like, this is what I was like, oh. It's like, I hope I. I Definitely never want to come back to this place again. Uh, well, you know, I'm just kind of like, uh, that, that game. Uh, and I'm just kind of want to, like, take a break after that, but I'm going to do a few other things for this video. Um, one more thing that we are going to do with the long shot. Uh, that I didn't do, like, before because, you know, we just, we just got it. Like, this is, this is only possible to do with the long shot, not the hook shot. So, what we're gonna do, we're gonna go up here, and I think, yeah, from like where, from where that guy is, I think if I, if I hook shot from here to, to the roof, then I should be able to, yeah, need to get a good angle. If I remember exactly, I think I just need to like launch you to the roof. There we go. Let's speak to this guy. Hey, good to see you again. I'll give you this as a memento. And we get a piece of heart from that. You collected two, good. Alright, and Navi, what do you have to say? That monster came out of the well in the village. Let's go and check that well. Alright. See, I mentioned before that we can't do anything about it now because the thing, like if we go down this well, it's should be blocked up. I'm pretty sure. I wish I could like look down, but I can't. Yeah, it's blocked. So, you know, it might be thinking, what well, what can we do about this then? Well, if you remember. You know, we just hold time in our hands. So why don't we go back in time to before uh, that thing was there. And, you know, before the monster got loose and whatever. So, that's what we're going to do. Uh, sorry. That freaking thing. Right, anyway, we're going to go back to the Temple of Time. Oops. There we go. And we're going to go back 
as uh, Child Link. Warp to Temple of Time. If you guys saw, like, the, uh, last episode, uh, of, um, just last episode, I saw, like, a little, uh, a funny little cutaway I did from, like, me starting the fishing mini game and ending it, and I might have to put another one in this episode because, man, did it take a while to actually, uh, do the Dompe race. So yeah, you might have heard me kind of overreacting a bit. So yeah, I, I kind of forgot what that mini game. I think it's that like you just have to get less than a minute time, which is only possible to do with the hook shot, not necessarily actually beat Dompe cuz I think I did beat him, but I was over a minute. So, you know, it didn't it didn't count. So I think that's it cuz I got less than a minute and I did it. So I guess that's probably what it is. So, we're back in Hyrule Castle, and we're going to actually do some things. Because now that we have these... Oh my god, Link. Why? Or now that we have the Song of Storms, there is a thing we can do here. I think it might be the only... The last uh, little collectible we can get here. Well, that, that's a... Uh, that's like a collectible, at least. So we're just gonna drop down and do our standard uh, sneak around guards maneuver tricks. They surely won't notice me with my giant shield. Whoa, that guy is a lot closer than I remember. Alright. Some I didn't, like, didn't really notice until kind of recently. My shield actually kind of bends when I'm rolling, which looks kind of weird because, you know, it's metal and obviously it wouldn't be able to bend, but, you know, it's just how it works, I guess. So we're just going to jump into this totally not uh, dirty water. I mean, it looks kind of clean, but who knows what's been in this moat. Alright. And now over here by this tree, we're going... If you have a rumble pack in or whatever, then you'll be able to feel a vibration, probably. So we're going to play the ocarina. Play the Sansong. Song. I mean, not Sansong, Song, the Song of Storms. Get them kind of confused sometimes. And, oh, we we almost, uh... We almost, like, got, like, directly landed in the hole. That was kind of funny. Also sounded kind of weird, but you know, whatever. All right, so now we're in this little room. We can just easily bomb this and bomb this and bomb this. Why not? I'm pretty sure only one of them has the thing we want. Well, this has a abundance of pots with rupees and stuff and bugs and that stone there. So I guess if you want ever want bugs, just go into that room and those. Here is our main prize. We get a nice sculpture here. Oops. There we go. Let's kill that guy. I don't think we can climb this, right? No. So I'll have to use my boomerang. Oops. Forgot I need to hold it. There we go. And I don't think there's anything in that other one that's really of interest. No, it's just that lone... Th that lone regular sculpture. So, all right. So I think that'll probably be it for this episode. We did, uh, we did what I wanted to, you know, like we got captured by the guard, but you know, we uh, got the Son of Storms and the Nocturne Shadow. So now we can get to the. We have a way of getting to the uh, the Shadow Temple in order to seal up that monster, but we don't exactly have the tools necessary to progress into there. So, uh, next up, so we're actually going to be seeking out those said tools. See you guys then.